Now, as I've mentioned before, you don't really need a delete method to physically delete records if you're just going to mark them for deletion. But in the interest of being complete, we'll go ahead and put in a delete option in case for some reason you have to physically delete records. All right, so I'm going to go into SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to open up that database and go to my stored procedures. And rather than start from scratch, I'll right click SP Video Get One, modify it, and we'll use that as the starting point for our delete procedure. So when that comes in, we'll change the alter to create because we're going to create a new procedure and its name's going to be delete, not get one. So we'll put that in there. We're still going to pass in the ID. Now we don't want to select based on that. We want to delete based on that. Once again, I'll use the uh, designer to create the query just to minimize typos. And all we need on this one is the video ID. And it has to be a video ID with a value. We'll just throw one in there for now. Okay, and I change the type to a delete. Delete from video where video ID equal one. Go ahead and put that in. But change the one to at ID. And I believe that'll do it. Let's go ahead and execute that query. And I didn't get any complaints down below. So if I refresh, oops, refresh this, there's SP video delete. And we don't need to save this query. So just close that out. Okay, back to Visual Studio to write some code to support that stored procedure. So into our project we go. And the steps will be the same as always. We're going to have to go into the data folder, videoservices.cs. And there's all our existing methods for adding and editing and all that stuff. So we just need to add another method to this. I'll um, collapse some of these so they're out of the way. Let's see, for the delete, we basically need to pass in the ID. So let's shrink these all down. And um, let's go ahead and say public async task bool. It'll just return a true when the deletion is complete. So boolean's fine. And we'll call this one video delete. And we will pass in the ID of the video to delete as an integer. Okay, and now we need some stuff from get one like uh, these three lines that do the parameters and then set up the connection, pop that in there. Now we can't use that same SQL statement or that same um, call. We need something more like in video insert. So let's see, uh, let me collapse this down and get into video insert there and copy this away. And we'll put that one down into our video delete. And then we'll paste that in here into video delete. The name of the stored proc we're calling is video delete, not video insert. Oops, I went the wrong way there. Um, video delete, quote, comma, parameters. Alrighty then. So now we still have a squiggly because this needs to return something. Just return true, it's good enough. Don't forget about iVideo service. We need to add this to uh, iVideo service. So copy that out, go into there, paste it in, and uh, delete the public async. Everything in the interface is public. And that should do the trick there, okay? So I think we can close up and save everything and see if anything is going to blow up. Nope. All right. And so now to allow people to delete, we can add a, another column to this table with a little trash can icon. When they click that, we'll take them to a page where they can confirm they want to delete. And if they confirm, we'll physically delete it. Okay. So back to uh, Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and create the confirmation page. So I'll Right click pages, add new item, razor component, and we'll name it video delete. And then um, it's going to have a lot of the same code as like video add or video add edit. So let's open up video add edit and grab all that code at the top, I guess. They're not going to really be editing, but we can use some of this code 
paste it into video delete dot razor and then tweak the code so this works as a deletion thing instead of video add edit it will be video delete and we'll still pass in the integer id of the item to delete instead of at page title we'll just title it accordingly throw in a little warning text so that um, hopefully they don't delete it anyway again it's better to just mark them for deletion but we'll go ahead and do this method in this just for the sake of complete completeness there is no undo all right we don't need an edit form because we're not editing anything the button should say well in fact it doesn't even need to be a submit we'll just make it a button with a value of um, delete and when they click it we'll call a, a method called delete let me just grab that and paste it in there and we'll change that to at delete and I think it's looking pretty good let me I don't have those um, methods down there yet but let me save what I have and then we're going to open up video add edit oh it's actually open over here already on this tab and then I'll just start swiping chunks of code for sure I'm going to have to uh, instantiate a video because I'm going to show one on the screen and I need the parameter with the uh, ID and I missed that line let's see what do we got here let me just grab um, we need that let me just grab all of this and then I'll go put this over in there there's my parameter I need the public imp business I don't need those two strings I do need the um, method and a pair of curly braces all right now we need some code inside that async I'll go back to video add edit and see what I can find um, I do need to wait for the um, video to load and appear on the screen so they know what they're deleting so I'll stick that one in there and then back to video add edit again and we will grab this uh, video save method and go paste that into video delete underneath our uninitialized async um, while I'm here though, let me change this comment it doesn't really set a default and also up here on this on click I'm calling at delete so the name of this should be delete not video save we're not really looking at the video that video ID like that in this one um, we just want to say await video service video dot video delete and we're only passing in that ID so it should delete just that one row and we don't need the else all right and I'll just tidy that up a little bit make sure I don't have any major errors in there and now we still need an event handler for the cancel button I have code for that in video add edit 2 so let me just go swing over back to that one and I'll copy that code from video add edit and paste it back into a video delete here and I want to navigate to video list even if they do delete so I'll copy that up there and I think we may be done with this one eyeball it real quick and let's take it for a ride build it no problema uh, run it and let's see what we get here we'll go to videos there's my little trash cans if I point to one it says delete if I click it it takes me to the delete a video page if I change my mind I can click cancel that takes me back to the list and that video is still there if I try it again click the trash can and this time I choose delete I'm sent back but now the video is gone because I deleted it I see I missed the column heading for the trash can so let me go I'll close this back up and go back to video list and um, put that column heading in that's just a th in a HTML table okay and um, we can close and save that and I also noticed in the video delete that razor page we don't need input boxes because they're not entering any data so let's just take out the input tags and we'll just show the text of each row okay 
uh, oops, and uh, same thing for video public video date published. We don't need an input. We'll just put the data. And uh, boy, I made a mess of that, didn't I? And I don't think we need this is active checkbox. If you're physically deleting things, you're probably not even going to have that. And that should just about do it for that page. All right, so let's save our work and run it again, see how we do. Click videos. The delete column has a heading, that's good. We'll click a trash can. And now it looks like it doesn't have input boxes, but I see that 12 a.m. is there. I guess I forgot to put that to short date thing, whatever it's called. Let me cancel out of that. Come back into my code and add dot to, what is it? To short date string or something? Yeah, that one, to short date string, paren paren. Run it again. And when we get to the list of videos, we'll click one. And there we can see the times removed from that. And so everything should be good. Couple last quick tests. We'll click cancel here. We'll delete it again. This time we'll click delete. And it is gone. And if, can we still add a video? Click add a video. We'll call this one video infinity or something and just accept the defaults, I guess. Click add and we should see it at the bottom of the list and we do. So that's it. We're done with all our crud. So um, close everything up, save everything. And uh, come over one more video. We'll tie up some loose ends.